Hey, Mandy, it is Podkins episode 121. Hey, Michael. Yeah, Here we are. Yeah, there we are. And we're going to be playing another game at the tournament arena today. We sure are. And I think we can tell what it is. <laughs> exactly. Well, last episode on Podkins 120, we played a couple of games of Goober's Atomic, Alicious. Yeah. And Linked. That's right, which uh, I think you won Goober and I won Link, if exactly. I'm not mistaken. Yep, so, so this is going to be our tiebreaker round. Although I am not very good at this game, but I'll do my best. Yeah, well, it's a good game, and I'm not sure if a lot of people know about it or not. Again, like I really wanted to bring some attention to the tournament arena because it's a great place to earn Kins Cash and play against your friend. And it's now open to all players, right? That's right. Yep. Yeah, free, so... full, and uh, deluxe players can access all the games. So, uh, yeah, more people playing is awesome because that means it's easier to find an opponent. Yeah. Um, so you can find an opponent randomly or ask somebody from your friends list. And we will talk about all that a little later on. And at the end of the podcast, Mandy, we're going to be giving away a special code for a Daisy Diner dishwasher. Oh, nice. You know what? Is that a new item? Uh, no, but it's oh. uh, an animated item. I love it. I want that. Yeah, we've. I think maybe we gave it away to deluxe players oh, okay. uh, a few years ago. So that it's really is rare. That's going to be really popular. Yeah, and you know what? This is in honor of Daisy's Diner because, of course, she released a couple of new food items. Yeah, I recently. Saw that. Yeah, so if, every time you go to Daisy's Diner in the clubhouse, you can click on her, and uh, you get a free meal on the house every single day. And here's a look at what you can get. I think there's 18 dishes in total. And there's a look at the lovely lentil soup, which was recently added, and also the green smoothie. So there you go. Yum. Yeah, and actually, you know what? There is a recipe that you can make by combining three of these foods in a blender. You can make some uh, sorbet. So, and are, we don't know if if it's figured out, do we? Or? No, I'm not sure, but you know what? I, I believe so, because I think um, we recently posted an article oh, okay. when we released the, the new foods, and and uh, someone mentioned in the article uh, the ingredients that you needed to make the sorbet. So if you hadn't already, go back and take a look at that uh, article nice. on Webkin's News. Also, Mandy, today a lot of players have been sending me screenshots of their painted glass room designs. Oh, I bet they are beautiful. Oh, they're so cool. And the fun thing is looking actually, well, there's lots of neat stuff about the new theme, but it's interesting because a lot of the players used really unique flooring to use uh, with the theme because we actually didn't release a painted glass flooring. We did release a wallpaper. Yeah, so. the wallpaper was really cool. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, really unique. So we'll be taking a look at those later. But first, let's check to see what's in our Kins post. Okay, well, our first Kins post is from A. Jackson 5. And they say, hello, I just had a birthday. I always enjoy logging into my Webkins account and receiving a birthday message and wish token. I thought of a great idea and wanted to share with you. It would be amazing to send out a birthday hat with the wish token each year. The birthday hat could change each calendar year. It would be a fun collection to start and a fun hat to wear. Thanks for making Webkins so much fun, especially especially on our birthday, Webkins fan A. Jackson 5. Well, happy birthday, A. Jackson 5. Yeah, happy birthday. Really interesting ideas. But you know what? Actually, we don't collect anybody's yeah. birthday information anymore. It used to be when you created a new account, we asked when your birthday was and then we'd send you something special on your birthday. But we no longer collect that information and we don't collect emails or anything like yeah, that as well. Yeah, because websites directed to kids, really, we don't like to collect any any personal information at all, right. right? So those are rules we're really strict about. But your pets get lots of birthdays and cake. Yeah, and, exactly. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, you get some cake on your pet's birthday. So, but great ideas, Ajax in five. And thank you for sending in an email. Guys, by the way, anybody can send in an email. You can email Mandy and us at podkins at gans.com. And if we read your letter on the show, then we get to send you something really cool. So Ajax in five, check your inbox for that. But I have another one here. And this is from Pinky Brown Mister. And it says, hello, I just started watching your podcasts and I love them. I've been a member on Webkins ever since 2007, and I'm so glad the site is still up. My question is, do you think there will soon be more ways to earn pet medallions? Thank you so much. Pinky Brown, Mister. Well, good question, and thank you for your email. Now um, we have added a couple more ways since we started. Yeah. Am I right? Yep. Yeah. So 
the easy way to get some every day is you can get up to um, 10 prizes by um, earning good scores by playing games in the arcade. And um, there's a good chance that you're going to get a medallion, a pet medallion for one of those prizes. So you can get up to 10 prizes a day. So that's up to 10 medallions just from playing in the arcade. Every single time you log into the site, there's a chance of getting a medallion through daily delivery. There's a daily floating medallion that you can click on. And what else? Oh, yeah. There's always a medallion on the wheel of wow. And very soon we're going to be adding new prizes to the mall in the game of Spree. And one of those prizes that you can trade your mall credits for will be a uh, medallion gift packs that you drag into your room to win five medallions. So uh, look for that the next time you make it to the mall. I was just going to say, when you do play the games, there's a chance you'll get a medallion, but but you'll sometimes those gift boxes include something different. Yeah. Right. So, you know, just so you know that, yes, there's always a chance of getting up to 10 a day, but you could get something else. Another great surprise. There's some neat. Uh, furniture pieces that you can get yeah. some um, Kins Cash coins, I believe. But yeah, there's, there's a really good chance that you get a medallion. So that's what I like to do. I love to play in the arcade and uh, earn pet medallions. So we have another Kins post, and this one is from O nine seven eight five four Renee, and they say hello. I was wondering how often new clothes are added to the Kins style outlet. I love dressing up my pets. Your Webkins pal, 097854, Renee. <laughs> well, thank you uh, for your email, Renee. Mandy, we add clothing actually quite often, right? With every yeah. season, we release a new line of clothing in the and summer really line. Really nice. Is they up. all, like, the, the the lines that come out are all nicely coordinated. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. Yeah, they're great. There's usually about 12 pieces per clothing line. Look for the new summer line coming out in a few weeks, but it's going to be actually really neat. And we're doing something we've never done before with the summer line, which is three pieces of clothing from the summer line you can combine on the clothing machine at Kinstall Outlet to make a uh, recipe clothing. There's actually two recipes you're going to be able to make by combining any three of those clothes. So you have to kind of, there's a little bit of trial and error involved. You're going to have to purchase, you know, multiples of each item of clothing and um, try different combinations of them on the clothing machine to see if you can figure out what the recipe is. There are also clothes at eStore that are available. Um, yep. And you know what? It's always worth checking out Easter because we have great sales all the time. Oh, absolutely. And you know what? You can find good deals. So, you know, definitely go and look. Yep. And uh, uh, there's yeah. lots of great stuff to be. There's had. some e-store items in the W shop, but there are also some e-store items that you can only get at www.gansestore.com. So make sure you check out that website if you have never been there before, because there's lots of great items, foods, pets, just a whole bunch oh, of, yeah, tons stuff. of stuff. Yeah. Buddies, everything that you can uh, only get from Gans e-store. So thank you so much, Renee, for your email. Guys, as I mentioned before, anybody can send us an email at podkins at gans.com. Maybe you have an idea for the show, a question. Maybe you just want to say hi to Mandy and I. But if we do read your letter on the show, then Mandy and I will send you something cool from the e-store. The Inside Scoop. All right. So, Mandy, here's a look at that painted glass room theme. For the past couple of episodes, we've really been featuring this. We had Mike and Eric on who um, actually were the designers creating these items. But um, I love this theme. There's a look at it all. Beautiful. And if you missed our last podkins, go back because there was a special item that we gave away in a code that you could only get through that podkins code. That's right. It was the last episode, 120. It was that blue dining room table. Which is just like the yellow table at blue and gorgeous. Yes. And uh, let's take a look at some designs that oh, players I can't have sent wait. in. Here's one by Turnip12. By the way, all these designs featured today will be eligible to become a finalist in our next Room Design Awards. Our, actually, our next one is being held on May 31st. That's when you're going to be able to vote. But um, these ones are going to be eligible for the Room Design Awards following that one because we've already decided the finalists for those awards. But anyway, here's a look at Turnip 12's Painted Glass Room. And I said, take a look at the flooring because this one works really well. It's a pink flooring. I believe this is from the East Door. What a beautiful arrangement. And I love those room dividers because you can actually place items on them and they've taken those I potted know. plants. And it looks great. I, yeah, I love the fact that we, I, we're going to have to do more of these. The fact that we've got these higher surfaces that you can place stuff on. That's a first yeah. for us, right? Um, that we've done something that I, high? That yeah, I believe so. Yeah, so that 
is really cool. And I love the choice of flooring because mm-hmm. it picks up the pinky purple of the, the base of the bed. Yeah. And then you know what they've done to tie in the purples and blues is use those beautiful dragonfly yeah. pieces on the wall. And those capture that sort of iridescent quality too, right? Yeah. So it just, it's lovely. What yeah. a great job. It was from our spring celebration event. And, and those, those porthole windows yeah. are cute with it. A uh, really perfect. perfect window choice. Yeah, when we were promoting Finding Dory, that was one of the items that you could make when you combined cookies on a stove. Yeah, just circles I think you're going to see as a theme throughout these designs because um, these have really nice curves to all the items. Of course, that nice big circle that's incorporated yeah. into the wallpaper as well. And the metallic frame of that porthole window picks up the yeah. sort of gray metallic color of the wall. Yeah. I mean, it's it's glass, but do you know what I mean? It's got that sort of metallic shimmer to it. Absolutely. And here's a look at Daisy Pink 99's Uh, design and they've got the same idea there by adding the plants on top room dividers they only use two there but it's really created this really nice sectioned off space for the bedroom there and i love those wall art that they've used there those are from the webkins mobile app and the purple really picks up the purple used in the bed and side table there makes everything really go nicely together and you know what this flooring Oh, yeah. Looks like it was designed to go with this. I mean, look Absolutely. at that. that. It's got sort of the aqua bluey background, and then that orange stripe sort of matches the one stripe on the left. And the and yellow one, like. The yellow one almost looks like on. it runs into it. Yeah. And then the middle green stripe catches that little circular bit just on the right. Wow. This is awesome. a really great match. That, yeah. That's a great one, too. That flooring is not currently available. We usually oh, release okay. it every now and then. I believe it's from. From, uh, we did a soccer room theme oh, for nice. one of the World Cups that was available for limited time in the W shop. So I believe that's where that flooring is from. But great job, Daisy Pink 99. Now, here's another room design. It was done by Kai Berry 73, and they're using the super fan flooring here and some beautiful wallpaper. I'm is not that exactly the sure where that's collector's from. card wallpaper. I've, I could feel be. Like maybe could but, be, but yeah, again, like it's it's really neat how everybody's choosing using like neat yeah. textures that go well because that wallpaper also has that illusion of sort of a shimmery glassy mm-hmm. texture within those bubbles. Absolutely. And again, picks up the purple really nicely from mm-hmm. a couple of the pieces. And like, I know I always say this, everybody probably gets <laughs> sick of me saying this, but there are so many great mix and matches you can do with our themes because oh, yeah. look at that lamp next to the bed. I don't, I'm not even sure where that's from. That is the card collector lamp, I believe. Okay. Yeah, so look, it probably is. Yeah. Yeah, look how perfect it is. Oh, so, yeah. So people are doing a great job of taking the painted glass and then mixing them up yep. with different pieces. It's I'm so impressed. Beautiful. And I love like, all the little tiny touches. Like yeah. there on the uh, counter, there's a microwave and a bag of groceries. And the stuff on the table, the blue table there. Yep. And, and the windows, those are from the striped room theme. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So. There's that blue table, Mandy, that you were yeah, talking about exactly. before. That's what you can get from the previous podcast. There's still time to go back and listen for that code because I believe it expires at the end of July. So there's still time. But yeah, great job. Kai Berry is 73. Moving on. Look at this. This is really cool. Oh, look how this is just a totally different feel yeah. because they've used a different colored wallpaper and yet it still works so well with the painted glass theme. Oh, like it's beautiful. Such great complementary colors. Mm-hmm. And the dark floor really sort of grounds everything really well. Yeah, this is from... Abenator 2009, and it looks like they were here on Mother's Day because I see two teacups on that counter. Those lovely floral teacups are so neat. And and they've also been collecting flowers because they've got the whole tea set to go with it. Oh, yeah. There you go. And Mandy, we're going to be doing something similar to what we did on Mother's Day for Father's Day. That's right. right. You can come in on Father's Day. And as we say, you can grab a coffee for dad because (laughs) uh, there's a new Father's Day mug that we'll be giving away as a floaty clicking on Father's Day, which I believe leave is June 16th. There you go. I'm going to have to check that before. I think so. But yeah, so so don't miss that because then you can have some teacups and mugs and yeah. mix them up. Great design. Evanator 2009. Very nice and bright and sunny. Yeah, I believe those two really windows happy. 
are from uh, Jumbleberry Fields. Yeah, yeah, those are lovely windows yep. too. And then that's a family score prize, yes. right? The sliding door. I love that so, item. Great job. Yeah, really cool. Here's one by Anne. It's built in a smaller room and it's just a little bedroom with a little bathroom and seating area. But I thought it was a great idea to use those tiles from the general store to create a bathroom tiled yeah, flooring. Yeah, I love that. And I love yep. the brightness of the plain yellow flooring is perfect. And then the yellow tile in the bathroom bathroom works so well and they've again captured the blues yep and again that was that from the flower collection mm -hmm. event last year that dresser yes again that soft turquoisey color works really well with all of these pieces this is another bright happy you know colored one and really nice and the pet even is sort of wearing a matching outfit too mm -hmm. it's a kiwi yes yeah for the kiwis <laughs> yeah it's really well done and i love look at that sink there just in the left corner yeah um, it fits perfectly right there yeah um, it looks like the wallpaper was almost designed yeah i love that one because that's the first time we've ever done a sink that you can attach to the wall like that i also would love to have a bath right under that aquarium yeah. wouldn't that be cool yeah. sitting there with the aquarium right next to you yep that's a bake sale prize i believe it's from bake sale three but i would just notice here that that lamp that painted glass lamp there the Anne has added that on top of a counter oh so she's made this really high awesome. yeah, yeah which is really really nice but just such a great job of um using the small space and organizing all these items yeah it doesn't together. feel overly crowded it nope. just it feels like everything's got a place yep and that yellow flooring really works well here too yeah so great job now here's one by mommy's babe 19 and this one's really neat it was done in a large room they're here for Mother's Day as well because there's a couple more teacups there. But I really like that little bathroom area that they've set up there behind the kitchen and that little seating area. They've used prizes from uh, this year's flower collection event. I see yeah. the, all the tea set on the tea trolley and um, there's that grand prize, the couch that matched the chair from last year. Yeah. And you know what else? And we did not plan this, Michael, but our our May Player Appreciation Day gift from Mayor Sophie. Look at how the colors, those are the little, do you see the little daisy tiles yes. going up to the pet? Yeah. And isn't it funny how the colors yeah. sort of go perfectly with the colors in this theme? Absolutely. So really neat choice for, for a little pathway. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so lots of flower collection events, but everything sort of ties so nicely in together. We've been doing uh, those nice turquoisey colors and they really Beautiful. are fresh and bright and go with so much. Absolutely. It's a great job, Mommy's Babe at 19. And by the way, those tiles, if you missed Player Appreciation Day, we are they are available in the e-store. Yes, that's right. They come in a pack of five. And because they're sold in a gift box, I believe that makes them tradable, sellable, sendable. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's always awesome. So yeah, maybe you could um, get some extras at the trading room as well. And here's the last painted glass room we're going to see today. It was sent in by Emerald City. And I thought this was really neat because um, they created this enchanted underground room. Underwater. Or underwater, yeah. sorry. Yeah. And uh, just look at the light coming in through those stained glass windows really emphasizes this underwater feel. And it's so dreamy with the trees growing. Yeah. And floor. you know what? That I mean... Emerald City had such a good idea because now that you see it, you realize that that wallpaper is perfect for an <laughs> underwater room because it sort of has the feel almost of like a modern underwater biodome city or something. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah, you're right. Like the light shining in really adds to the effect of sort of the, you know, when the sunlight shines through yeah, the exactly. waves. I think this might be a restaurant or something like that because you can see these five tables set up. And those trees, I can't remember which theme they were from, right. but again, the... It's the, an the, store theme though, yeah. Yeah, but again, the modeled color, it's its so perfect. What it's beautiful. What a great job, yeah. So great job, guys. Keep sending me your room designs if you want to be eligible for a room design award and get featured on a post on Webkin's News or, hey, maybe one of our podcasts. You can email me your screenshots to letsbuild at gans.com. 
So there's a last look, Mandy, of that beautiful theme. Did you have a favorite piece? The sink is pretty cool. It's very and, unique, yeah. And the one thing I love about the golden pieces is that even though I know they're glass, they're mm-hmm. they're painted glass, I think that if you put them in with different items, they also could have a golden feel. And so I feel like that sink could work really well, too, in a really, you know, extravagant bathroom with lots of gold features. Yeah. So, but, but I also, I really like those tall counters too. And I love the idea that you can put stuff on top of them. And I love seeing already what people have done with that. So that's a neat idea. And I do hope we do more of those. Yes. So guys, you can pick up this theme. It's available right now at the W shop for Kins Cash. Now, Mandy, here's a look at June because June is just around the corner and there's lots of stuff to do. Time flies. I know, I know. (laughs) But summer is finally here, which is nice. So we're going to start off the month with a days of play, which is every single day you get three plays of one game in the Magical Forest, which is really cool. If you're deluxe, you get a free play every day of each of the games in the Magical Forest. But hey, if you want some bonus plays or if you're not deluxe, that's a good time to check it out. And then, of course, look at that. We've got another trophy challenge coming up. It's Tile Towers, one oh, of my favorite games to play. Yeah, I'm Tile Towers is one I'm OK at. <laughs> yeah. So you get a whole Because I week. get to take my time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. There is a time limit, but they do yeah, give you a lot of that's time. True, so yeah. yeah, and actually, if you are having difficulty playing the game, there's a hint feature as well. So yeah. if you check that little box, yeah, we help you out by kind of hinting. On and then some if you matches. get stuck, I think you get one auto shuffle, right? That's right. Yeah. Yep. So you get a whole week to complete that challenge. And if you manage to do so, we'll give you one of those Tile Tower trophies. And of course, at the end of the month, Mandy, it's Berry Fest. With Berry Fest, we often release new prizes to the Jumble Berry Field yeah. game. And we have a very special prize that we're going to be adding this time around. Yeah, we are so excited because last year during Berry Fest, we held a fan design contest for a new prize to add to Jumble Berry Fields. And of course, we love love adding things to the game that were designed by our players yeah. and this year it's it's been <laughs> such a long time but we were saving it for very fast we're so excited to announce that we're we're ready to add the hayloft by rhino kins w3 and look how beautifully yeah it there's a look out. at it right now it's actually a bunk bed so yes. two pets can sleep in it one at the top and one underneath there and i can see this being so popular oh with yeah our, with our Fans. You can see it being used in lots of different yeah, farming rooms, definitely. playrooms, lots of different Outdoors, cool stuff. Yeah, I absolutely. Think. Yeah. And imagine lining a bunch of them up together. You can Ugh. create like a really large hayloft. Really cool. But actually, just a, really recently, actually, we've been adding prize pools to Goo Goo Berries and yeah. Polar Berries. So you can only find Goo Goo Berries and Polar Berries during Berry Fest in Webkin's World. Um, or you can you can buy the seeds. Am I right? No. E store. Oh. No. There's oh. no seeds. No. Yeah. You can buy actually jumble berry, sugar berry, pickleberry and moonberry seeds at the East store and at the W shop, plant them to harvest these berries to help you fill your jars of preserves. But no, Goo Goo oh, Berries and Polar Berries. Oh, am I getting mixed up with the sour Goo Goo yes. Berries? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That was my bad. Yep. So this year, here's a look at the Goo Goo Berry prizes. And this year, like you're saying, is um, the grand prize, you can get sour Goo Goo Berry seeds to Which plant awesome. in your yard. And because you get you a sour them, Goo Goo Berry. Right? Yeah. yeah. You get a sour Goo Goo Berry every single time you harvest them. You won't get a prize by feeding your pet no, a sour Goo Goo Berry. Not. Yeah. No, but... That's um, why I was confused. Yes, exactly. But they're really cool candies to have and collect. But here's a look. So every single time you feed your pet a Goo Berry, you can get that grand prize, the seeds, but you can also get other prizes along the way. There's three food prizes, that snack bar, muffin, and jam. There's an awesome backpack. Yeah, New this year. that's There's glasses. so cute. Yeah, and that print is coming back, which <gasps> I, I think is beautiful. I think so too. I love that print. Yep, and here's a look at the polar berry prizes. They're essentially polar berry versions of the Goo berry prizes. Nice. So you can get those uh, sour polar berry seeds and those awesome glasses. There's a look at the print that Mike made. Now, can I just ask yep. you, is that jar one you can put in your room or is no. that one you can eat? It's Yeah, it's a food. So okay. you can feed it to your pet. Yeah, okay. I think last year we had jars that you could actually arrange in your room. Yeah. But yeah, I know that one's just a food okay. pet. So there you go. Remember, so during Berry Fest, if you see a jumble berry floating across your screen, click on it and then you're going to be awarded one of the six berries. So and you'll a also chance. be able to yep. get a berry from Sophie in the park. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Every day Sophie's going to be giving out a berry. And um, I think Easter will be giving out a berry as well. Yeah. 
So many ways to collect berries during Berry Fest. So make sure you listen to or check out Webkin's news closer to Berry Fest for more information on that event. By the way, also during Berry Fest, <laughs> we release a challenge and you can win that Jumbleberry Fields trophy. Really cool. Matches that Tile Towers trophy, by the way. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really neat. So be here for Berry Fest, June 17th to 28th. Probably talk about it a little bit more on our next podcast. Um, yeah, I wanted to sneak peek that event because I know it's one of our most popular summer events in Webkin's world. Now, Mandy, we're at the point of the podcast where I challenge you to a oh, game of Zingo Switcheroos. <laughs> Do you accept my challenge as a tiebreaker? I accept your challenge. All right. So <laughs> let's log on to Webkin's, head to the tournament arena, and I'll invite you to play. All right. So, Mandy, here we are. Oh, here we are. Yeah. Sorry. We're all ready to go. No problem. (laughs) So I am the pink playing pieces here and you're you are the blue. The object of this game is try to get as many of your playing pieces on the board as possible. And so you can move by clicking on your character. If you move directly one space, Um, from where you're standing, then you'll actually clone yourself. And so you'll have two um, of your Zingos appear on screen. If you decide to jump, you'll just jump and you won't be cloned. But if I land next to your character, then your character is going to switch from pink to blue and he's going to join my side. So you'll actually see what I'm talking about as we go on here. I really like this game. Um, I'm multiplying my Zingos everywhere. I'm trying to infiltrate Mandy's team. So the start of the game, there's really not much you can do except just kind of slowly add pieces to the board. I'm going to slowly make my way over to this group over here. Um, And we'll show you how this works. So now I'll show you here. If I jump, um, I'm not going to be cloned. My character is actually going to jump next to Mandy's. But because I'm going to move to this square, it's essentially touching both of these. So they're both going to turn pink and join my team. So let's see what Mandy does here. Oh, my goodness, Mandy. Well. I know. (laughs) She jumped there, and um, she's actually beating me right now. You can see how many Zingos you have on the board right under your player. So Mandy has nine. I have seven. I'm going to jump over here now. Those are going to be added to my team. Mandy's got one over there in the corner. And uh, so I'm going to continue on here by doing a little bit of... Multiplying Uh-oh. by converting Mandy's team. Oh gosh. Let's see what Mandy does here. Oh my goodness. So kind of is it just a little back and forth here? Everybody's changing color, changing team with every turn. It can get pretty chaotic, but um, you'll see the board will become more occupied as we play here. Now, this is actually one of the games you can play in the tournament arena against one of the Webkin's hosts if you add them to your friends list, which is a lot of fun. So Mandy jumped, leaving a little square there. Oh, jump back. Slowly move here. I'm trying to create a little bit of a barrier between her characters and mine. I left a little hole in the middle there. Holy moly, that was a good one. She converted a lot. I don't know. There must be some sort of strategy to this game. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> I know. I'm not. I mean, I have to say, I'm not. I'm not great at games of strategy. I'll be honest. And um, <laughs> <laughs> so this is. Well, not, you're doing well here because this is we're not tied. My forte. Whoa. That was a good move. Still tied around the same here. It's really at the end of the game where there can be drastic yeah. changes made. But um, let us know, guys, in the comments below if you have a special strategy that you use to play this game. Uh, Let's see here. 
do a little bit of a jump there. Oh, that was a lot. That was a big one. Sometimes it's uh -huh. hard to see when there's an empty square. Yeah. So, uh, Mandy just converted three of mine. Mandy. Um, mm. I'm going to do a little bit of a jump here. Oh, my gosh. I left an open space. Let's try moving over to this side. Oh, wait. I don't want to do that. Um, let's see. I want to get those two little guys in the corner there. I think they're really cute, those little zingos. Of course, usually they're yellow, but here's the blue and pink versions. Oh, Michael, you're really taking over. Goodness me. Oh. I try not to jump whenever possible, of course, because you leave an opening. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I love tournament arena games because they're very competitive. They're some of our classic games like checkers, like linked. Our version of bathtub battles, or our version oh, of, I sorry, yeah, battleships. battleships, bathtub battles with those special moves, which is really, really unique to the game. Oh my goodness. I don't have some very good moves here. I love playing in the tournament arena. So yeah. I, I do yeah, play like against random opponents. So you might see me there, guys. Yeah, and we, we do like to play each other at work, right? We Absolutely. can get very competitive. Absolutely. <laughs> very competitive. Michael's the most competitive. <laughs> well, I'd say Christian actually was the most competitive, but uh, I don't think he's actually ever beaten me in oh. the tournament arena. So there you so go. So now you see what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, Michael, I think wow. you're taking the board. I don't know. That was a good move there. Do a little bit of a jump there to create a line. Uh oh, Mandy's gonna do a jump as well. Uh -oh, I'm gonna move into that space to try oh, to convert some more. No, I'm I'm not. Anything can happen. Mandy has 22. I have 28. So we are very close. Let's see, you jumping over here. I love them. Their their eyes blink. Yeah, and they make so a little bunch of blinking wackies on the board there. So now that area of the board, we're almost done. Most of the board has actually been filled in, so we'll see what happens yeah, here. Yeah, there's not much I can do. If you can't go, there is a pass button. Oh, that was not that was not a good move. Cause look what I've done. No, it was fine. Hmm. I, of course, I love duck crossing, but it's a little long to play. Yeah, it, on it, a podcast, but um, it's a lot of fun. Hmm. Uh oh, I'm catching up here. I have to do something drastic. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh, wait, no, I don't. I want to do. <laughs> oh, dear. I think you've got me beat, Michael. Maybe. Let's Maybe. see. Maybe. Only two moves left. Oh. This is going to be the deciding move. And there we go, Mandy. Yeah. I, Mandy I, got 27, and I got 37. Good game, Michael. Good game. Great game. That was fun. And look fun. at that. Even though you lost, <laughs> you still get Kins Cash. <laughs> yeah. I got a little bit more. But as I say, it's a great way to earn Kins Cash. Look yeah. That, 50 Kins Cash, and there's not a lot of games in the arcade that you can earn 50 Kins Cash that quickly. So there you go. If you haven't already, or if you haven't in a long time, guys, I encourage you, go to the tournament arena. So much fun. And remember, it's open to everybody now. Yes. So see you at the tournament arena. All right, Mandy, that was so much fun. Thank you. Thank you. That was fun, and I can't wait for some of our events coming up in June. Yes, and guys, don't forget, head to the Tournament Arena. It's an awesome way to earn Kins Cash. 
Now, as we are approaching the end of the podcast, Mandy, it is time to give away a code for that awesome Daisy Diner dishwasher. Would you like to do the honors? Sure. So the code for this dishwasher, which I can't wait to get myself, <laughs> is W24BJD. P two R W H C U seven Y W. There you go. And, and the that... code expires, of course, yeah. midnight, August thirty first. And yeah, to get your dishwasher, log into your Webkins account and then enter this code at the code shop, which you can get to through the things to do menu. There you go. Awesome item. So thank you, Mandy, so much thank for hosting you. with me. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Please tell your family and tell your friends about Podkins because it's a great way to learn about upcoming events in Webkins world. And send us a message. And if we read it on air, we might send you. We will send you something yes. if we read it on air. We will. We promise. Um, and yeah. you can email us at podkins at gans.com. And guys, every podcast, we usually give away a code for something awesome. So if you don't want to miss that code, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash webkins. So you'll always know whenever we release a new podcast and uh, you'll be one of the first to be able to get that prize. So there you go, Mandy. Thanks, um, Michael. Great game. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye.